Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Gaming video. This is Droid TDR and we are back in Liyue, as you know. Traveler, what are we doing today? We're looking down at the floor. What is down there? I don't see anything down there. Sparkle Path! Oh, that's what's down there. That's what we're looking at. That's right, we gotta go back to Madame Ping to go get our amazing teapot. Which is just so bizarre. As I think about it, we had to go get some sort of radioactive jade so that we could make a teapot that bends space and time so that we can, uh, you know, hang out in our own teapot. It just seems so odd. Just seems so odd. Where are we going now? Sparkle Path, come back to me. There we go. We're going up the stairs over here. Looks like we're heading up to where we did the right of parting. And oh, we have to climb the wall now. How fantastic is that? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I ran out of stamina. All right, there we go. Oh, here she is. Madam Ping, you're with your special teapot. We are ready. We've got the Scarabajabajist Jade or whatever it was called. You've returned. Yes, we How have. Did it go? Were you able to find the Smaragdus Jadeite? Smaragdus Jadeite, that's right. We were. Good, good. Then we have all the materials we need. Excellent. Well, if Let's we're all set, Granny, I'll get be going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Alrighty. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. Fantastic. I'm off then. Bye. Oh, yes, Traveler, make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. Hmm. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. Ooh. Come now, child. Are you leaving or are you not? <laughs> get out of here. Stop you the no sales pitch. Leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Hmm? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> <sighs> that child... Goodness knows where she learned to be so rambunctious. Her father was hardly so riotous or fond of talking nonsense back in the day when he stood beside Rex Lapis. A truly unique adeptus, oh, indeed. Indeed she is. Liu has changed, and the adepti must also learn to change. I guess so. Yan Fei might be overly garrulous, but she is also the most intimately acquainted with the city among us all. Mm. Uh, Liu is not the same place I once knew. Aww. All right, then. Let us speak of this no more. Back on topic. I believe that I still owe you a little gift. Yes, please. Oh, Paimon's so excited! How is it made? And how long does it take? <laughs> it is but a single teapot. It shan't take long at all. Just wait here for a moment. And let's have a cutscene. There we go. Madam Ping begins to construct the gift and boom! Oh, there it is. There we go. This Serenity Pot is all yours now. I like Hold it. it Serenity. If you were to drop it, oh goodness, who knows what might happen. Hmm. Take these blueprints with you as you well. You spill. You'll need them if you wish to make your teapot a little more lively inside. Lively teapot, huh? Wait a minute, Granny. How exactly are we supposed to use this teapot? Do we just rub it like on oh, the other one? You needn't worry or about touch that. It? I've already arranged for a certain little helper to await you within this teapot. She will explain everything you need to know about it. Oh, really? This is a peaceful neighbor. <laughs> Boom! Serenity Pot unlocked. This miraculous teapot, known as the Serenity Pot, goes too quickly. Quest objective: Your Serenity Pot. Head there. Blah. What? Teapot called home part two. Enter the serenity pot. Press B to open your inventory. Enter the serenity teapot. Serenity teapot. I get it. Ha, huh, clever. Um, switch to gadgets tab. Oh, with my camera, I have a serenity teapot. Place. To place the Serena teapot. Uh, 
F to enter the serenity pot. A little big stretch first, though. There we go. All right, ready? Ready to go in? Let's do it. F. All right, what? 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 Floating abode, Emerald Peak, Cool Isle. Reach level 40 in Sacred Sakura's favor to obtain the Silken Courtyard. Ooh, this look very nice. Realm layout preview. Please select a realm layout. Let's check out this floating abode. Select and go. You wish to set the realm layout to floating abode? I guess so. For now, I hope you can change it. Uh oh. Companions who remain in the Serenity Pot. Oh, it changed too quickly. The teapot seems even bigger inside than Madame Pink's. This is rather huge. That is true. Get chiseling, Paimon. You could carve us a whole house out of this rock. Do go dig a burrow to live in for now, I guess. <laughs> hey, there's a perfectly good house right over there. Why does it Paimon have to live in a hole in the ground? Because <laughs> it's funny. Why is it so empty here? Because you're emergency house? food, Paimon. Oh, wait a second. What is that? That's a guy. The, the guide, right? The guide. Let's go see the guide. Press V to navigate. V. Oh. <laughs> Explore the area. Wow. It seems that we have a visitor. Oh boy. It's a huge finch. That Excuse is a, a bluebird me. of happiness. I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me. Um, hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Um, Ching Chow. Oh, call me. Ling a ding. I suppose you may call me Tubby. <laughs> Okie doke then. So you're the little helper Madam Ping mentioned? Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon me here. She told me much about you. That's you very may exciting. Leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. Oh, brilliant. Your journey may be far from over, but at least this way you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. Okay, so it's a teapot spirit. Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Oh, the banal matter of maintenance, Thus, huh? we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. You may consider me a butler, if you will. Ah, now, okay. allow me to explain this realm You're to you. You're my Alfred to my Batman. I love it. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. As Maybe. long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Oh, really? Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look. Yeah. Wait, can we mi can we yes, Minecraft this world? Yes, these are the blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Okay. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Okay. Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Mm, I doubt it. A hmm. golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. Okay. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. Hmm. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that adeptus again since. How very well, let's strange. Well, not dwell on that. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. Okay. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. 
Thanks, Tubby. Look for Tubby in the Serenity Pot. We did. After using the summoning and summoning Serenity Teapot, travelers can interact with it and enter the abode within. Travelers can also use and summon the pot while they are stretching. While they are within its confines, interacting with the Serenity Pot in this state will allow travelers to leave it. Okie dokie. Next. Talk to the Teapot Spirit, which we did. Learn how to all manner of teapot related affairs and create all kinds of items from the creation screen. Hooray! Materials used to create items can be gathered all over the world. In the real world, I imagine. After obtaining a furnishing, use the place function to place it in position. Place furnishings to increase the adeptal energy rank of your serenity pot. As your adeptal rank increases, realm currency will accumulate at a faster rate. Spend realm currency in the realm depot. <laughs> okay. I guess it's not home currency in the home depot. That's probably why they call it a realm here. I don't know. To purchase various items. Once in a while, a teapot traveling salesman will visit your abode. Well, that's so cute. There is a chance that he will bring some rare treasures with him. If you acquire the blueprint for a furnishing set, you can place furnishings by batch. You can still make adjustments to the individual furnishings when batch uh, placing them. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Lots of stretches there. Press F7 to open the placement screen. F7. How am I going to remember that? I don't know. Travelers, please ensure that you follow our terms of service while well in the Serenity Teapot. To create a healthy gaming environment, please read and confirm that you will not instigate or take part in any sort of horribly bad things and that you'll use your teapot as a nice place. Okay. This function is currently undergoing something. Maintenance. It's undergoing maintenance, so I can't do a thing. But that's awesome. Uh, maybe it's on my wheel menu. Oh, I had to go to teapot menu. Oh, look, I can obtain 30 pieces of wood through cutting down trees. Hooray. Whatever that was for, I got a tall birch and a golden knotwood tree. Obtain three types of wood through cutting down trees. I, I did. Oh. Okay, claim. And look at that. I got a pine folding screen and a red cedar curio stand. All right, check the placement screen and save your furnishing placements. Enter the mansion. Oh, there's all sorts of things I can do. And look at all these rewards. This is, is, this is round one, ladies and gentlemen, round one. Can I actually enter the abode yet? Can I actually place a tree? How would I place a tree? Uh, I don't know, but I, I, I definitely need to say that I logged in today. Look at that. So good. I'm so pro at logging in. Can we go in here? Hey, enter the mansion. Let's see what... It's an empty house, all right. This... This be an empty mansion. This could be a cool room, and this could be a cool room, and this could be a cool main room with a cool staircase. Anything under the staircase? No, it's just a thing. What a nice staircase. And then look, you can overlook from the balcony here. This looks surprisingly like, I don't know, the Don Winery, I want to say, but not quite. Slight variations. There's another bed uh, room up here, maybe bedroom. Can we climb the walls? No, we can't. Can we climb these walls? No. Sadly, we're wall climbing -less. And we can't fly down from the upper deck? Are you serious? Did we lose our ability to fly when we walked into this realm? Let's see. Climb. Climb, jump, fly. Okay, we got flying. We got flying still. Feeling good about that. But now we did enter the mansion, so we should be able to collect something in our teapot. Boom. Long table with table. That's weird. Uh, and wine o'clock. What does that mean? 
Reward details. T-Talk. A detailed step-by-step -step blueprint for setting up T-Talk. The people of Liyue often invite friends over to their place to sit and have a chat over some tea. A good time can be had with just this tea table and two chairs. After using this item, you can view it in the placement screen. Okay. That sounds good. I think I just got it. So I've got a wine o'clock. Wait, I probably also have the tea o'clock thing. Can, I, can we do that out on the deck, maybe? Out here? This looks like a nice place for a side table. Little place. Can't. How do we set? How do we set it up? How do we set it up? Maybe in here. Items. Ayo. What is this? Hunting tree. Oh, that was from long ago. What is this? Furnishing blueprint. I could use that here. What is this one? Another, like a light. Ooh, fragrant brilliance. Okay. After using this item, you can view it on the creation screen. Okay. Same thing. After using this, you can view it on the creation screen. It seems like I should use these things. What about this one? Same. Yes. Okay. But this one, you can view it on the placement screen. Okay. Well, let's let's use that and do that and that and that. Aha! Uh -huh. Current number of furnishings in this realm. Current number of furnishings in this realm. I can't do anything with this. There's timber walls. Apparently, there's all these floors that were placed. There's two chandeliers. All right, there's one of those and a thing and a open space air workshop. How do I how do I utilize these? Is this your furnishings? These are trees, which I can't I can't seem to use. Where's my teapot stuff? Where's my table for tea? I want my tea table. Talk to Tubby. Tubby, what's going on here? I got these things, but I can't seem to place them. They said F7, and it says maintenance. Ah, you arrived quickly. Good, good, good. What's up? I should have come here so I could give you a little gift. Oh, thank you. I do not know if I told you before, but these abodes are private spaces created for Adepti. Most Adepti will use certain methods to seal their abode from the rest of the world to ensure something or other. Afterwards, Adepti would create a Realm Dispatch for those they wish to invite. This Realm Dispatch bears signatures of the abode's Adeptal Energy and that Adept... blah 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 blah. Before this abode was an incomplete embryonic state, those whom blah 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 blah. But now, we'll take this Realm Dispatch I created for you and hold it in your hand tightly. Okay, thought it needed some of my energy. Don't worry, you only need to hold it and it'll draw some of your energy out and into it. Yes, I heard Ping mention that you... I have some friends in a great many places, so I suspect the distributed dispatch will be to one of them, blah blah blah. Okay. As such, I have made some modifications to this dispatch. All you need to do is tap the palm of the person you'd like to invite lightly with the dispatch, and your energy signature will be remained on them, allowing them to enter and leave your realm with ease. Oh! It's almost like marking, isn't it? Huh? Sort of. Why did you have to put it so weirdly? I don't know. All right, ahem. well, here's the realm dispatch. Go forth and invite whomever you wish. Seems that this place should become lively quite soon. All right, so does that mean I can dispatch to, like, real-world friends or in-game friends or uh, characters? I want to know. I want to know the details, but mostly... I want to try and get my tea table down. Learn three furnishing blueprints. I did. Hurrah. And now I can still do nothing. Check the placement screen. I need to. I would like to. Please let me do it. Construct three furnishings. How? I would like to. Detailed step-by-step -step blueprint. Blah, 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 blah. 
All right, so maybe it's in this? Or maybe, wait, maybe it's in this. Okay. Oh, we just got some more things. Creation, creation. All right, great. Um, but nothing else new in that menu. All right, how about this menu? Increasing danger, blah, blah, blah. Is there any quests down here about your own teapot? No. There are no teapot quests in here. All right, well, this is interesting. Though it appears to be under construction. So much so that it won't even let me construct anything. But this looks like a pretty cool place to be. Maybe it's in the escape menu. Nope. Though I do have an achievement, so we should pick that up. Wonder of the world. Right of parting, we did that. Yep, sure enough. And a new star approaches. Not really sure what that one was, but hooray, we did it. Any other things in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A realm beyond. Use a serenity pot to enter your realm. Hurrah. Now the question is, can I go switch and tour other realms? Because I really would like to. Maybe I want the beach one. I don't know. There we go. We've got ourselves a Serena teapot. What? What? Stay with me, Tubby. Let's say goodbye to everyone. All right. Tubby's here. Tubby, the teapot spirit. So thank you all for watching. We will see you in the next one. And just me, Tubby, and Paimon trying to figure out how to build furniture and decorate this crazy looking space. Crazy fun looking. Bye bye.